Hello and welcome back to my channel, Cards by Melissa Miner. Today I am showing you the new January 2024 Bunch of Balloons Fold It Club. I love this one. This is so fun. It's so versatile. You can use this for birthdays, for any holidays. I think it's so cute. So let me show you this. So a Fold It, if you're not familiar, it makes a shaped card. So you can either have it open from the top up here or from the side. Um, but look at all these dies that you get. So you get this outer layer and then you get this inner layer and then look at all these pieces in here that you get to layer with. Then you get this bow right here. Um, there's a heart, there's a star, there's this little fun shape here. So you get lots of dies with this one. And then like with any of the foldeds, you get two stencils. So this one, you get this confetti stencil and then you get some clouds and then some numbers. And then you can see right here, you get like the little shading pieces that you can put on your balloons. So I really like that. And then you get this little pocket card um, that has some ideas. Also, um, this month was kind of fun because you get a free gift and you can see in here they sent this little 2024 die. So that's gonna be cute to put on the back of the cards. Like if you wanna put a little 2024 on the back of your cards, I know a lot of people do that and I think that's fun. Um, I get quite a few questions on how I store my stamps and dies. So um, I like to put all of my dies on this magnetic sheet and I will link down below where I purchase these magnetic sheets. I do purchase them on Amazon. Um, I don't have an affiliate link for those, but um, I will link below where I get those. And then I like to put those in the storage pockets, as you can see here. And so let me show you what that looks like. So all of my stamps and dies, I like to put in these pockets. So I put them on a magnetic sheet and then I put them in a pocket like that. And those um, storage pockets, I get those from Avery L. They're the large stamp and die storage pockets. They're five and a half by seven and three eighths pockets. I get them in a 50 pack. And I also purchased those on Amazon. So I will link those down below also. And then what I like to do, especially for my fold it's, um, I like to store all of that inside one of these totally Tiffany uh, six by nine pockets. So I like to put my pocket in here and then my stencil so this and then i can put both of these stencils in here and then i can put my idea card and then it has a label on it and then so everything is in here also these totally tiffany six by nine pockets now these you can get on the stamps of life website um, but these are good also if you're in any of the other clubs, like the um, the Die Hard Club. I like to add the like the Die Hard Club and then any of the add-ons because it's pretty thick. It can hold other, it can hold multiple um, stamps and dies. So you can you can make it pretty thick and hold multiple things that go together in these pockets. Now, if you're interested in joining the Fold It Club. Um, or any of the club for the Stamps of Life, I do have an affiliate link that I will leave down below in the description box. And by using my link, you will receive 500 bonus points that you can spend in the Stamps of Life store. And then you'll also receive a free gift with your first shipment. Or if you're in, you know, maybe one of their clubs like the Stamp Club or the Stamp and Die Hard Club, um, and you want to upgrade and add an additional club, you can just go to their website and you can enter my code, Melissa M, to just let them know that I referred you. Uh, using my links or my referral code, it helps me just to be able to bring you more content to show you on my channel, and I just really appreciate your support. So let's jump in and make some cards. All right, let's go ahead and get started on card number one. 
Now I've went ahead and cut some things out to speed things along, but I wanna show you how to use these dies. So for the outline die, to go ahead and create the base to make it a folded card, you're gonna take um, a sheet of cardstock, and then at the top of the die, there is the words fold, place fold here, and then on the side, there's another place fold here. So if you want your card to open at the top, you are going to place your fold right there. So it just hangs a little bit over the cardstock and or over the fold, and then you're gonna run it through your die cut machine. Or if you want your card to open sideways, you are going to place your fold on the side right here and you'll have a little gap right here. So I have done that. So this is mine right here and you can see at the top, it looks a little funny. I did my fold at the top. So in order to get rid of that, you're gonna take the same die and cut another piece out to go over top of that. So I have done that with a piece of strawberry. And so when you do that, it covers up um, and makes the perfect shape. So if you flip it over, you do see a little bit of that edge. Now you can go ahead, if you wanted to, you could cut it out in white so it's the same, it looks the same on the back, but that doesn't bother me, I'm okay with that, and so I just am gonna leave it with the strawberry. Okay, and then, um, so this next die, this is the next die, and when you do this one, it cuts out this piece, and this is the layering die that goes on top. Now it also cuts out these two balloons. I cut it out a second time. These cut out actually. So I cut it out a second time in white and I'm gonna place a couple white balloons inside like this, but it does cut them out in black. And then um, it also cuts out this string, which we will line up and place like, like so. So let's go ahead, and then what I've done is I've taken all these little layering dies right here. You can just take these little layering dies and take some different colors of cardstock and run them through your machine in different colors. So I've taken some uh, strawberry cardstock and then also some striped cardstock here, and I've ran those through my machine to get some different colored balloons. So. Let's go ahead and glue this piece down onto the base so we can start building our balloons. So I'm just gonna line this up here. And then I'm going to add the white balloons in. And I'm gonna layer on top of those white balloons the different pieces of pattern paper. Okay. So now we can go ahead and add our pieces of pattern paper. Let's see. We're gonna want, I'm gonna start with these pieces first. So it's kind of like a puzzle. We'll just start picking out our little layering pieces and putting them on. There we go. And then this one and this one. And then I think I want, see, I know this one's going to go over here. And so I think I do want the middle one to be red. And then we'll put 
this other red one over here. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll just glue our little strings on. These are very tiny. So we're just going to line this up. There we go. I got quite a bit of glue here. Let me dab that up. Perfect. Now it just needs a sentiment. And I found this. I found this one. I want to use this happy birthday. And this is from the large postage to stamp. So let me get this out. And this actually is going to fit right on top of the balloons. But I think what I want to do is I want to get a sheet of paper and just practice over here. Let me ink this up. Okay, that's stamping perfect. So let me go ahead and get that on my balloons. Let me make sure. I'll stamp it right in the center. And give it a good press. Perfect. Okay, so that looks good. And then the next thing I want to do is I've got these little embellishments, these little star stickers, and these came in a card kit, I believe, in one of the card kit clubs. And I thought that these might look really cute kind of on some of these balloons. So I'm going to stick a few of these on these balloons. Maybe not that big one. Let me go for a medium sized one. I love that. Let me do, let's see. I think one will, no, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Actually, I'm going to go for an odd number. I'm going to put one up there. Okay, and then I have this little black and white bow, and I thought this would look cute down here. And this actually came from a previous card kit club. I love when I can find little embellishments that came in previous card kit clubs that work on my projects. There we go. So that looks cute. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to decorate the inside of my card. So I've got this scratch paper here. And before I glue the card on here, I want to do a couple things. I'm going to let that dry for a moment. I want to use my stencil. So this is the confetti stencil that came in the kit. And I'm just going to lay this down and I'm going to take one of my brushes and I'm going to take some of the strawberry ink and I'm just going to lightly brush some of this on. There we go. And then I need a sentiment. And I did find one. This is from the birthday greetings to send. And I liked this one and it was small enough that it's gonna fit 
And this one says, you're never too old to party. Happy birthday. And since I haven't used this one before, I am gonna give it a test. Okay. Looks like that's stamping well. All right, so let me get it centered here. Perfect, all right. So I'm gonna put some glue all over the base. Let me open this up and we're going to line this up. And we're going to give it a good press. And here is card number one. For my next card, I am bringing in some paper that I've had in my stash. So this gold paper and this purple paper, I am bringing in a paper pad from Pink and Maine called Cloudy Day. And I thought it'd be fun to do these balloons where they look like gold. And so um, both of these sheets of paper were from this cloudy day. And also this starry background right here is from this cloudy day paper pack. And then I'm also using some of this holographic mirror paper from scrapbook.com. And you can barely see it here, but um, I've matted my card base with that. And then also I've cut out a sentiment using this holographic paper. The sentiment, um, congrats, is from the A2 Deckle Edge card die set. It has a lot of nice sentiments on it. And so it has the congrats. Let's see here if I can get all these congrats. Um, just a note. It has hello, thanks, and um, just because. So I really like this one. Okay, this card is going to go together really quickly. So like I said, I cut the card base out of that purple paper. I'm just going to go ahead and glue that onto my card base. So this one I'm not making into a folded card. I'm just gluing it onto an A2 card base. So a four and a fourth by five and a half standard card. And then you can see that the balloons this time, I'm not using the inner dies. I just use this, this one right here, the inside layering die, but not all the little pieces. And I'm going to glue that down um, right over top of the purple and you can see how these um, two center ones here how they cut out individually and so that's how on the last card I was able to make them in a different color and so this time I'm gonna keep them there's the same gold color but you could easily interchange them for different colors if you'd like. So this just fits right into there, but I like how you can easily change them out and how they cut out. And then we'll glue this one in. And then I also cut out another piece um, with the white for the strings. So I thought this would look nice for the strings to be in white. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the strings on in white. So let me glue these down.
these all lined up. Okay, and then I've cut out the congrats word. Now for this, I do want to use a little bit of foam tape just to pop that up a bit. So I'm going to use a little bit of foam tape to give it some dimension. And let's put a little bit more. I'll put that right across the center here. And it goes really from edge to edge. And then I'm going to use the ribbon or the bow die that came in the kit. So with this, all you have to do is just fold this in half. So you just need a little piece of, little dab of glue right there in the center. And you just hold those in, fold those in. Maybe. You hold that for a moment. And then the next thing you'll do is you just wrap this piece around. And so I like to take it and set it in the back. So set this behind it. And then you're just going to fold this piece forward in front of it. Like so. I have a pretty bow. And I'm going to keep it in white. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the bow down. And this is card number two. Here is card number three. And this one I did go ahead and make off camera. There's nothing special about this one in the way that I've made it. But this one I did put onto a five by seven card. So I just wanted to show you a different option. So I've given you options on the cards, the first one that we made, let me bring these in. This one was um, on making it into a shapes card. And then the second card that we made, this was on an A2 card. And then this third option just shows a way for you to make it on a five by seven card. So you'll have to leave me a comment down below which card is your favorite. Again, if you are not already in the Fold It Club and you would like to join, I do have a link down below. Or if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.